Thank you for joining me on Crunch Econometrics. We are still continuing our tutorial on heteroskedasticity. And in this video, I discuss one of the ways by which heteroskedasticity can be corrected. In case you are just joining us for this tutorial, please make sure you watch the video on understanding heteroskedasticity, where I discuss the nature, causes, and consequences of the problem. Also watch the video on how you can detect heteroskedasticity using the informal and formal approaches. So now we go ahead to looking at how we can resolve heteroskedasticity using the functional forms of the model. If you are ready, please load your data and follow my guide. But if you want to use my data, the link to that is in the video description. Click on it and it will take you to the file which is available on my website. The data is free, but the do file, you have to purchase it at a token. So let's get ready and dig in. So I have the codes written out in my do file. In the tutorial under detecting heteroskedasticity, we realize that the level level formation is heteroskedastic. So the first thing we are going to do is to estimate the log level model and test it for heteroskedasticity. Next, we perform the log level log model. That is my own augmented log level model and also put it to test. Then lastly, we'll test the log log model to see whether it is heteroskedastic or not. So I'm going to highlight the three functional forms with their codes and that of the test for heteroskedasticity and let's see what we have. All highlighted, I execute. So I have on the screen all the three results. Starting with the log level formation, permit me, I will not be interpreting because that is not the focus. The focus is to test for heteroskedasticity. So this is the log level formation for this model. You have the log of price. So this is the result. Our main interest here is the heteroskedasticity result, which is the bush pagan test. And we can see the p-value here, 81%, clearly above 5%. So we can see that by transforming the model using the log level functional form, it has corrected for heteroskedasticity. Next is the augmented log level model, what I call the log level log model. Let's take a look at the bruch pagan results for heteroskedasticity. And we can see that the p-value is 52.06%, way above 5% level, and evidence that the problem of heteroskedasticity has been corrected the moment we augmented the functional form of the model. Lastly, let's take a look at the log-log functional form of this model where all the variables are in their natural logs. The result from the bruch pagan confirms that the model is now homoskedastic. So this one tells you that whenever you estimate your model and is in level level, and the outcome of your heteroskedasticity test shows it is heteroskedastic, try by changing the functional form. Run a log level model, run a log log model, and test for heteroskedasticity. More often than not, you are likely to correct that problem by changing the functional form of the model. Experience has shown me that most level level models are always heteroskedastic. As a recap, this is the log level model that I just showed you from Stata. Evidence of no heteroskedasticity, going by the p value. This is the log level log model. p value is 52.06%. And here we have the log log model. p value is 49.17%. So in both models, there is no heteroskedasticity. So this is one of the ways by which the problem of heteroskedasticity can be corrected. For more information about functional forms, there are chapters in each of these textbooks, so please make sure you go through them for more understanding of how you can transform your model into functional forms. The next video will be on how you can resolve the problem of heteroskedasticity using generalized or what is known as the weighted least squares. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for the comments and feedback I've received on this heteroskedasticity video. I appreciate you all. In case you have not subscribed, kindly do so. 
I am committed to teaching beginners and intermediate level users. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with the next video.